Hey guys, so in this video I will show you how to do your reverse grab spin. I'm sure this spin has many names and lots of ways how to learn it, but in this tutorial I will try to break it down step by step the way I teach this spin to my students. Make sure you are warmed up before you start to do this tutorial. Just a reminder, if you really enjoyed this video and you learned something new, you have a possibility to donate. The link is in the description. This spin is an intermediate slash advanced move. So beginners, how can you start to learn your reverse grab? You start with your chair spin and you reverse spin. So first thing you start to learn with your chair spin. Step with the inside foot and swing with the outside one. Now what you have to understand and teach your body is to control your shoulders, your movements. So you will go to one hand spins, your shoulder may get injured if you do not strengthen it and you do not teach how to control wide big movements. So when the, all the weight goes to your shoulder, even in your chair spin with both hands, what you have to understand is that you have to try to get yourself away from the pole. So when your butt, which is the heaviest part, this is the heaviest part in your body, is right underneath your shoulder, it's a lot harder to hold even if you're pulling yourself up really strong. So what you have to do is to create momentum. You make a step further away from the pole, you make a swing with the outside foot which comes from behind like this. Step, leg, swing, and then you go into your chair, spin. Step, leg, swing. For a better spin, you should lean forward a little bit to create a more powerful movement. So you do not start your spin here. It takes a lot of power to hold yourself like this and it's difficult to make your spin powerful when you start your spin like this. So when you make a step, you lean a little bit forward, shifting weight forward, when your leg starts to swing from behind, you create the swing, and here is your chair spin. And the second thing, beginners, how you can try to start to move towards your reverse grab, is learn the reverse spin here. Always train your both sides, all right? Now you take the upper hand in your twisted grip and the lower hand in this kind of grip. Not sure how it's called in English, but I'm sure you see it well here, okay? Now you have to create a distance here from the beginning, so your spin is not here. Because here you will not be able to hold properly with your hands and the spin will be really weak. So you create the distance here step in front of the pole as you can see because here it's a lot of pressure on your shoulder and it feels wrong you have to step in front of the pole shift your hips push your hips a little bit forward upper hand is pulling and the lower hand is pushing just the same as in your chair spin push and pull this is the most important movement for all of your spins to begin to do your spins correctly and in a safe way, all right? So you take the upper hand in your twisted grip, creating your distance. Now you open up your outside foot. Now you have to hold your body strong, engage your shoulders, and the outside foot is creating a circle around the pole. And this is your reverse spin. Switching sides, creating distance, pushing myself away from the pole, opening up and circle around the pole. And as soon as your outside foot touches the floor, you let go your lower hand to finish your spin. So these two spins are a combination of a, re a reverse grab spin. So, Push and pull, 
starting to learn, making big movements, big powerful spins, learning yourself, learning yourself to keep the distance and hold the distance strong to make your spins safe, secure and strong. So when you manage to do all that, you can start, you can try to start to move closer to your reverse grab. Now the first thing you have to be able to do the chair spin with one hand, just the upper hand. And for that you will really need your butt to be here, not underneath your shoulder, all right? And now your upper shoulder is pulling strongly, it's engaged and safe. Start on your feet like this, grab the pole as high as you can, make the step a little bit away from the pole, shift forward, swing with the outside leg from behind, and learn to spin with one hand. And always train your both hands, especially in this one, okay? Step swing, hold. Now after this, the next step is to up, uh, upgrade your reverse spin a little bit. How, how do we do that? We try to make it with a swing, a little bit more power, put, put a little bit more power to it, okay? You swing the outside leg. So you do everything the same as I said before, create the distance, twisted grip in upper hand, you open up the outside foot and it starts the movement from the front to your back. Front to your back. Hold the grip strong and create a powerful reverse spin. Always do your both sides. From the front to the back. And try to look to the front as, more, as long as you can. As you can see, when I start to swing my leg, I looked at the camera for a little while longer to create this spin more beautiful. So try to look at the mirror or put a point in your house where you can look at the point for as long as you can to make the spin more dynamic, all right? From the front to your back. Now when you have one-handed chair spin and powerful reverse spin, it's good enough if it's confident and you feel safe in that spin and uh, secure in the spin, okay? Next thing, we have to start to try to learn our leg work, to condition our legs for a reverse grab spin. The first thing, you make a step with your inside foot. We're not going to sp uh, spin here now, we're going to learn how to use our leg. The outside leg is the main leg, but do not forget the inside leg does a lot of work as well, okay? But uh, I will tell you about that a little bit later. Now you step and the outside foot comes from behind, big circle and up. Step from behind, big circle and up. Step from behind, big circle and up. And of course, do the other side as well. Step from behind, big circle and up. Step, exhale, step, exhale. So when you're opening up, try to exhale at that moment to give you a little bit more, more power to that movement, all right? As you can see, when my leg goes up, I bend a little bit this leg to create a wider movement and when the leg goes here, right opening the hip, I go onto my toe a little bit to make it look a little bit more higher, so you can try that as well. You step, now you bend here, big circle. When it starts to go up, I go on my toe here, here and finish, boom. Step to front, behind, step to front and behind. And the next thing is straddle legs, which is really important to make your reverse grab spin beautiful. So you need to stretch your straddle, of course, but I will show you some exercises that will help you condition it actively. 
So I really like to give my students this exercise on the floor. You can touch the pole or you can put your hands on the floor as you wish. Now you start from low position, keep your core engaged, your tailbone is into the floor and you open up and here, exhale. Lower down, keep your tailbone into the floor, up, exhale, lower, up, exhale, lower, up, exhale. So in this, you exhale and try to keep this movement powerful. Make sure you are warmed up before you start to do these exercises, okay? Now, without the pole, it will be almost the same, just to keep your hands to the side. And Keep your tailbone into the floor. Tailbone into the floor. And you can condition your straddle or leg holding also with a pole using different kind of grips. The first grip I would suggest is the split grip, learning to pull, push and pull. It also strengthens your shoulder, strengthens your core, it's, and you need all of that in your reverse grab. Always switch hands and exhale at the hardest part. For example, for me, it's when you push your legs to higher, higher point, it's here. And lower down with control. The second grip that I would suggest you to use for straddle conditioning is the split grip from behind. The same thing, upper hand is strong, lower hand is straight and strong as well. Upper one is pulling and lower one is pushing. And always do you both hands equally. The next grip, what I would suggest is conditioning your straddle in your inverse grip, okay? Here. Always change sides. That last but not least is to condition your straddle in your spin grip. Upper one is pulling, lower one is pushing away. And you're also strengthening your spin shoulder hand here in this one as your core. And of course, your legs. When you've done all this and you feel secure to move forward, we will start with the reverse grab technique. So step with the inside foot a little bit away from the floor. The beginning is as, as the same as in your chair spin. Swing with the outside leg, but you will not try to swing yourself in front of the pole like this, not to hit your back. You're trying to make, from your step, you go more in a diagonal here, or more further away from the pole here and your hip this hip will the outside one okay it will close a little bit here and when you will turn you will regrip in your reverse spin okay so your hips are helping here as well start with little movement to understand the technique you make the step diagonally okay the swing helps you to get yourself here so you create a good distance from the pole and it's easier for the shoulder and easier to grab the other hand, okay? So, boom, boom, here. One hip, other hip, re-grab. How it usually looks like for beginners who are not strong enough to learn the reverse grab but they still want to learn it so hard and that's why it looks so, like this. So this means you are not strong enough in your shoulder or you do not understand the technique. So if with these little tips that I just gave you for 
the technique to step away from the pole and swing from with the outside leg from behind and push yourself diagonally by turning your hips if that doesn't help or if you're scared or if you're sliding down it means your shoulder does not work good enough yet just yet so you need to work more on your one hand spin on your reverse spin here before you come back to your reverse grab okay so step swing turn regrab you have to regrab here not here so you have to be far away from the pole so you have to take your inside hand really high step as strong as the swing is strong so your step is not here your step is here okay step swing tuck and regrab start with the tucked position because it's a lot more easier and always do your both sides step tuck really green so your step from the stepping leg one more time you swing yourself diagonally not in front here try not to work so much just with your hips I've seen a lot of people do this that will not help you in the long run when you will try to learn to open your legs and do a powerful beautiful reverse grab so you have to teach yourself to swing not to push okay swing and if you will swing you will go diagonally from the pole and you will create this distance to regrab in your reverse now the next thing is how to create momentum and power in your spin so what i usually teach when you are strong in your shoulders and you know how to do your chair spin is to step and swing land on your outside foot and right away you make another step so you're kind of learning to run around the pole step swing land on your outside step swing when you got that try to do it without a pause so you go boom boom one more time swing swing and as you can see it's even hard for me to stop by trying to push yourself away from the pole helping with the swing of the outside leg and with the step of course as well so step from behind swing land step from behind swing land train your both hands running around the pole seems easy but it's not that easy you have to trust your inside hand if you don't trust it work on the chair spin with a smaller swing and then add up a little bit more power a little bit more dynamic to create a powerful spin now when you've done all this you can try to go back into your reverse grab with opening legs so you do the same step swing if it's difficult for you to create the distance you can start a few steps ahead like one and you go on to the other okay but I do not suggest you to learn your reverse grabbing with running because it will be really really hard for you to teach yourself afterwards not to run before you reverse grab because it looks kind of silly but you have to run around the pool before you do a simple spin which you can learn to do from a spot to do it from the spot now we're coming back to the inside foot what does the inside leg does it jumps a little bit okay to create more power in your spin so you do with a swing so this leg makes a simple little movement at, at once with the outside leg okay here how to make your leg opening beautiful you have to understand this leg work 
works in your reverse grab. So you make a step, you make a swing, and your legs go in cross and your hip closes. That's the moment when you flew in diagonal position. When you're opening your legs up, you're turning your hip and we're grabbing in your reverse. Okay? To understand why do you need those X movements, work on the floor. Now, which is more powerful way to open your legs? From cross or when they are not in cross? You don't, you don't have enough of power in the movement before. So here you're opening or they're not in cross or together here. This looks much more powerful. That is what you have to do in your spin. You have to cross your legs and open up. Your hips are turning, then you're closing in and re-grabbing the paw. So you step, close, open, close. So you're going outside foot, open, inside foot, close. confident start with a smaller dynamic yeah you step cross open and your spin the slower is your spin the lower you will end when you finish it so you have to try to do the spin fast with dynamic and powerful movements but that happens only with practice and with time one more really important tip when you see a reverse grab spin there are two variations which you usually see. Well, actually, there are a lot of variations. I will show you two. Okay, the first one, I will not show the variation with running around the pole. But one thing which you usually see is your reverse spin goes here. Okay? And try to see the difference when your reverse grab goes here. So I hope you saw the difference. In the second variation, I shifted my way back and look up at the moment when I open my legs. Just as the same, what you do when you want to open your legs wider, you go back a little bit. You're not opening your legs here. It's a lot harder to make your spin look that powerful. You shift and you're open. And that is how you will make your butt go higher in the spin. Just shift way back when you open up your legs. So one more time, shifting way back without shifting. And with shifting way back. So I really hope you see the difference. So the shifting way back comes when you feel free in your technique, when you understand the reverse grab and it feels secure for you and your shoulder when you understand how to open your legs in a beautiful way how to create the distance and when that all is done you start to think about shifting weight back and look up exhale at the moment when your legs open this little tip help a lot of guys to understand how to make your reverse grab more powerful and I say thank you to all of my subscribers who follow me, you, all your sincere comments and I'm really happy that I have such a positive feedback. If I missed out on some kind of comment, please write that again. I may have lost it somewhere in all of the comments. Feel free to write requests and thank you guys for visiting my channel again and see you next time. Bye!